you briefly mentioned uh, in the list of things that people should be doing that they sometimes don't, uh, a little bit on landscaping there. So let's get into a little bit more detail on landscaping. What <laughs> makes sense to improve? What does not make sense to improve? The value of curb appeal. And then something that I think would be interesting is to discuss through whether it makes more sense to focus on the curb appeal front yard or the backyard where people are going to be spending their time if people could only pick one. Yeah, and we've done whole shows on outdoor living in the backyard and things. Real quick, this next segment is brought to you by the guys over at Striker Roofing. Roofs matter. They do. They cover all of the things. They cover the structure. They cover your belongings. A little leak can turn into a big leak. A windstorm can turn into a leak. A hailstorm can turn into big problems. If you haven't had a professional roofer that you trust up on your roof or had a weather report done on your property in the last couple of years, then you need to reach out to Striker Roofing. I trust them. They've done roof work on my house. That's who I would trust to do roof work on your house. Head over to Striker Builds, B-U-I-L-D-S, strikerbuilds.com. Or of course, you're always welcome to go to our website, overunderagent.com, grab their info, or we'd be happy to connect you ourselves. But check out strikerbuilds.com. And I bring up roofs because that's actually one thing that uh, buyers tend to overlook, but can really get a deal caught up in the middle. So we can talk more about that later. But as far as landscaping, front yard versus backyard, if you're a seller, the front yard is essential because if the front looks bad when they drive up, it's going to consciously or subconsciously affect the way they think about your house for the rest of the time they evaluate it, right? If they drive up, jump out of the car and get one of those kind of eh, feelings, just meh, then, then unfortunately your highest highs are going to get rounded down to meh, mm. right? And your lowest lows are at their best going to start there, right? So that's not a good starting point. It's better than gross or disgusting, but you might spend $100 or just a couple of hours out there cleaning it up or have someone else do that. And, the, and now the drive up, the first impression is, okay, pretty cool. You know, it's as nice as I thought it was. It's nicer. It looks a little bit better than some of the neighbors. This is nicer than a few of the ones we've looked at. If you've done that, now that backyard work might get an extra, you know, ounce of, of value, right? The outdoor living space, the backyard landscaping is once someone has decided, I think we could see ourselves living here. They've come, they've seen the front, they've been through the house. Now they've decided, let's go ahead and check out the back because we're really considering this house. That could put somebody over the edge. But if the front yard doesn't look great and the inside doesn't look great, most buyers never even look at the backyard. By then they've just decided, man, this probably isn't it. Let's not waste our time. They don't even open the back door. That's good. 